The month of March has certainly presented more than its fair share of obstacles for us third-party sellers, but along with that came the opportunity to take a much closer look at certain parts of our business. You could even take the time and make some adjustments if need be. In this video, I'm going to discuss the single biggest change that I have made to my Amazon FBA business, and I'm going to talk about the reasoning why. I'm also going to share some results. My name is Manny, and this is Manny's Book Bag. What's going on, everybody? It is Manny, and I am back with another video. Hope that you're all doing well, uh, definitely staying home and being safe, finding different ways of making money. I must say that I'm in pretty uncharted waters. I'm in week number two of a stay-at-home order here in Ohio, so I haven't been able to go out sourcing in any way. Uh, we're also in week number two of our children doing distance learning from home. So at the same time as we're trying to continually be creative and reinvent different revenue streams, also having to keep up with my child's education and making sure that we're just doing what we need to do right now. We don't exactly have a lot of choice in the matter, so we kind of have to make do with what we got. And what I got's not much. As I said before, I'm in my second week of not being able to go sourcing anymore. And quite honestly, we were getting to the point where I wasn't going to go anyway. What I've done in the meantime is I've pretty much exhausted my bulk CD inventory. There's not very much left behind me. Uh, everything that I could list for Merchant Fulfilled or eBay or eBay Lots, that's pretty much been listed. I don't have very much of a death pile at this point, so I'm pretty much going to be dealing with what I got. One of the things that I looked at really closely around the middle of March was my pricing. I started looking at historical uh, pricing in terms of sell-through rates versus average sales prices. I started looking at different segments of my inventory and uh, did an additional look at my reprice it templates and their effectiveness as far as what percentage of inventory was being repriced. There's one thing that I have had a lot of in the last couple weeks is additional time time that hasn't been spent outside the house looking for inventory, uh, making deals with people, visiting libraries, going to book sales. You got to keep in mind all those book sales have been canceled. There's nowhere to go. Stores are closed and we're staying at home. So last week I decided that I was going to look at every single item in my inventory and manually reprice by hand. Yup. The single biggest change that I have made to my Amazon FBA inventory was to temporarily cancel my reprice it subscription. What? <laughs> yeah, your hearing is working just fine. It wasn't an easy choice for me because as many of you know, I do firmly believe that a repricer is one of the best tools that you could employ in your Amazon FBA business. But at the same time, having so much time on my hands, I really wanted to do a comparison. The timing of this could not have been better either. I repriced every item in my inventory by hand on the 16th of March. And what I found was what most of us already know. Any repricer, no matter how well you cover your bases, is going to have blind spots. There's going to be items that don't get repriced that should or could. And there's also going to be missed opportunities to bring your prices up based on your current competition. And that's really what gave me the idea to do a deep dive and reprice everything one time manually. And I can honestly say that it made a really big difference. As I was repricing, I was already noticing a lot of the same patterns. There was a lot of inventory that was highly competitive, but wasn't quite where it should be. And keep in mind, this is very normal. It is going to be almost impossible to have a machine or a tool like a repricer have near the same effectiveness as a human being that knows what they're doing. So on the 16th of March, I canceled my reprice it subscription and I committed to repricing every single item in my inventory at least once per week. And now that it's the end of March, I can compare the first half of March versus the second half of March and really take a look at some personal data. Now I went into it with some idea of what I was going to see happen by the end of the month. My expectation was that I was going to see a drop in sales units and I was going to come close to sales dollars and I was certainly going to see an increase in my ASP, my average sales price. But here's what happened. From the 1st to the 15th of March, 
my actual sale through rate was already 16.9%. Now from the 16th until today, and there's still one day left in March, my sell through rate is 13.8%. So there was certainly a slight drop in sales units, but not nearly as much as I thought. And at this point, I'm already at a 30% sell through for the month. That's certainly better than I expected, especially considering I haven't been able to continually feed my on-hand inventory. The second thing to look at is that even though I was expecting a slight drop in my gross sales, I wasn't expecting very much of a drop. What I was not expecting is that the 16th to the 30th of March was actually going to outperform the first half of the month in terms of gross sales. That for me was incredibly surprising. I actually made more money in gross and relatively speaking net just by doing what I was doing. The third part of my expectations also proved to be correct. My average sales price spiked very much the second half of March. It actually outperformed the first half of March by over $3. Now I think that that's a fantastic spike and even though I sold slightly fewer items I made more money. And I'm happy that I did so because the last thing that I wanted to do at a time like this was follow sellers that were lowballing and dropping their prices just to try and make a quick buck. Our prices have never been lower! By conducting this experiment, not only did I manage to prove to myself what many of us already theorize, but I also made more money while preserving some of my inventory. And that's important to me because when things go back to normal, and they're going to, I don't want to have to go out and hustle to get things back into stock. I'm going to want inventory that is already at Amazon's warehouses to take advantage of what I think is going to be increased buying because of stimulus checks. So then the question becomes, when things do go back to normal, am I going to continue to reprice everything myself? It's highly unlikely. I thought about it, and when things go back to normal, I am going to have to use my time to go out and source and hit sales and really beef my inventory back up before textbook rush. So no, I don't think I'm going to be able to continually reprice everything myself. I probably will go back to reprice it, but there may be parts of my inventory that I don't allow reprice it to touch. I may get into a situation where I still utilize reprice it, but I only do so for a couple of segments of my inventory while taking a more hands-on approach with another couple. Either way, things are not going to go back to normal anytime soon, so April may help me to see even more data that could help me make that determination. Here's the question of the day. What changes, if any, have you made to your Amazon FBA business, and how do you think those changes have impacted your results? Go ahead and put your comments below, because we're not quite out of the woods yet. Well, that's all for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed this video, if you want to see me make more videos like this one, please remember to share, like, and subscribe to support the channel. If you haven't liked this video yet, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and tap on that book bag right over there. And while you're in there, hit that bell, turn on those bell notifications so that YouTube lets you know every time I drop a new video. Until next time, be safe, and let's make some money.